Hello, and welcome to another episode of Crizzy Books. I'm Crizzy, or Chris, but only my homeboys call me Chris. And today, I'm going to be doing a review for Parasite Eve by Hadiaki Sina. 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 Do, 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 do. Um, in Parasite Eve, we follow a couple different characters. To start things off, a woman named Kayomi is driving her car when she blacks out and crashes, ends up in the hospital in a coma. Her husband, Toshiaki, is a microbiologist. He studies mitochondria primarily. Kayomi is an organ donor, so upon brain death, they're going to extract her kidneys for transplant. Toshiaki gets this weird idea that he wants her liver cells, so he convinces the surgeon to give him some of her cells. Some weird stuff is happening under the surface with Kayomi and her cells. A bunch of stuff ends up happening. Her cells become their own entity. Uh, it turns out that this mitochondria has just been waiting for millions and millions of years to evolve into a next step. It needs a host to complete that step um, and reach its next, uh, you know, its final form. And that host ends up being the girl who receives one of her kidneys for transplant. So this was a little difficult to rate. I think that it was a good sci-fi horror novel, um, packed to the gills with medical information and science. A really cool idea and a lot of really cool and fun moments, but ultimately I'm not sure that it totally stuck for me. But let's get into why that is. So what did I like? What did I not like? What do I like about this? As I said, there is so much science and medical information in this book. Like it almost reads like a textbook at times. I feel like I could maybe potentially pull off a kidney transplant um, the way that it describes it. And I can absolutely see this being a turnoff for a lot of people. Um, if you are not wanting to read through a lot of medical information and science, um, you're probably not going to like this. But for me, it didn't bother me so much for whatever reason. Um, I kind of found it interesting um, and I stuck with it. So I didn't really think that that was a negative. And I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know if I learned anything from it, but you know, I, I, I liked it. I thought that the characters in this were really well done. Um, they, uh, they all had their own voice, their own personalities. There's a surprising amount of depth to each one of them, considering how many different ones we kind of cycle through. One of the standout characters for me would have been, uh, what was her name? Mariko, uh, the girl who receives Kayomi's kidney. We find out a lot about her and her father. They kind of have this strained relationship. She had a prior kidney transplant that failed. Um, that kidney came from her own father. Uh, we later find out that she intentionally let it fail, which really explains their relationship and why it's so tense between them. She's really worried about, you know, getting this new transplant, um, hoping that it doesn't fail again or kind of expecting it to. I, I liked this character a lot. Mariko's surgeon, Nagashima, um, also a really interesting character. He is completely obsessed with reassuring Mariko that this time's going to work or just trying to get through to her. She's really distant with him and he's just trying as hard as he can to just pry anything out of her that isn't like resentment or aggression. The slow progression from the liver cells microscope to the full body organism of Eve uh, was really creepy and almost like something out of Alien. Um, we're watching this thing slowly rolling into becoming a full-fledged, really terrifying sloppy goop of an organism and when she attacks Toshiaki's assistant uh, Asakura it's pretty brutal and really gross and really awesome the liver cells the mitochondria being called Eve one we later on at the very end of the book kind of like a oh no uh, it's not over kind of thing that Eve one was just one of many uh, different Eves and she's not gone there's, there's multiple versions. After everything that happens, it's, you know, it ends on a pretty grim note. Eve has this power to set people on fire or spontaneously combust them, which I really liked. It's been a while since I've thought about spontaneous human combustion. As a young dork, I used to check out books on like unexplained phenomena, and I will always remember the photos of spontaneous human combustion, almost like a cartoon. Somebody just exploded in an armchair, and then there's just a kind of a charred foot sitting next to it. So a, f a fun little memory in there, and it talks about spontaneous human combustion. A lot, a lot of attention 
uh, being drawn to breasts and vaginas, like a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't know if that's due to, you know, the theme of regeneration and procreation. Uh, maybe it is. Or if the author is just a bit of a perv. I don't know. Just something I noticed. The most disturbing parts of this book are at the end, Eve... How, to put it lightly, uh, inseminates. She does this multiple times. Uh, at one point, she forcefully extracts from Toshiaki um, and then inseminates into Mariko. This is all incredibly disturbing, especially since Mariko is only 14 years old. It's all really gross and just really horrific. Thinking about this big mass of cells doing this thing to another person, uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty gnarly. And then on another note, we never really find out what happens with Kaomi's other kidney. We only focus on Mariko, so there's this open-ended question of, well, what about the other transplant patient? What's happening there? Um, so, something to think about. But let's get into, now, what did I not like? I did think that there was kind of an imbalance between the amount of science and medical textbook information and actual action and horror in this. It felt like there was just more of the former and not enough of the latter for me. It was a big slow burn, but I'm not sure that the actual payoff and the fire that comes out of that was really enough for me. Um, so probably like my biggest gripe. Overall, I think I'm going to give Parasite Eve a three and a half out of five. I liked it well enough, but I didn't love it. Um, I feel like it could have had yeah, just a little more punch, a little more horror, a little more, you know, the sci-fi elements that I was hoping that it was going to have. I also learned that the video game that's on PlayStation, um, if you are familiar, that game is actually a sequel to this book, which I thought was pretty interesting. I always thought it was an adaptation or something. No, it's it's after that. So pretty cool. Um, I've never played the, the video game. I just remember, you know, seeing videos on like a Pizza Hut demo disc or something way back in the day, but I kind of want to play it now. Anyway, have you read Parasite Eve? What did you think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, God damn it. My allergies are killing me. Sound off in the comments below. Be sure to like, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching. Bye! Mm -hmm.